All right, so I just talked about KSI having a co-main event slot opening up on his January card, and if people don't know by now, sorry, spoiler alert. But yes, Logan Paul, I mean, it's not official, but let's let's be honest here. Logan Paul completely shattered his knee on Saturday, Sensei. Did you see this? I saw that he did do it, which is, you know, I didn't see what part of it, so I'm hoping you can show me. Yes, I will, I will show you. We can find the actual damage, but yes, this can, it sounded like he tore everything, which is it wasn't the first time. I don't know if this is the same he had hurt before. Yeah, that's the question I have, because I don't he's think people remember. A, an old injury he's, is even yeah, worse. He's, he's hurt his knees before. All right, so this is what happened. So as everybody knows, Logan Paul's been doing WWE. He's, been, he's become a WWE wrestler. In his third match, Sensei, he goes in and, and wrestles Roman Reigns, who is, again, I don't know if, if you know, because you're not like mm-hmm. you know built like that, but we acknowledge him as the tribal chief over here, right? He's the one, you know what I'm saying? So that's, okay, okay. That's my guy him, right there. That's, like the big, that. that's the big ooze. I, I, I have to let you know, he is the big ooze. And he feels okay. oozy at a lot of times, so I think you and him would get along. <laughs> but anyway, Logan wrestled him, and Sensei, before we even get into the injury, I think we got to acknowledge something else. Logan Paul's a damn good pro wrestler, man. Bro, I was watching the highlights and I was like, "Yo, I, he, I, he is something else, man." I don't like I was admitting really watching it, and I was like, "Superstar, this I don't, dude is a superstar." Oh, hundred percent. I don't like admitting when someone is better at life than me or better at being an athlete <laughs> than me. But this guy has it all. I, I, I like, I, I can maybe make fun of, of some of the things here that he that he does and some of the weird takes and things he says, but as an athlete, he is gifted, man. I'm he yeah, he's bro. in the, like doing splits, he's doing all these crazy jumps, and obviously that's what led to what we, we saw in him tearing his knee apart. But I have to give it up. I've been a pro wrestling fan since I was about seven years old, and Logan's living the life I want to live. I gotta be honest with you. He is doing <laughs> all the side quests, man. And he's good at it. He's really, really good. He understands, like, not just the physical stuff, right? I don't know if, again. Yeah, his performance. It's I the was performance. Watching, yeah, it's man. the facials. Yeah. It's the it's the reading the crowd. It's the moments, like, gathering the crowd, making sure they know this is a big moment about to happen. Like, th- like here, let's watch this, man. This is what I'm talking about. This thing, this this clip right here, since it has 40 million views, he's on the top rope at Crown Jewel. I'm just going to play... He's on the top rope at Crown Jewel, and he does this with an iPhone in his hand. By the way, he's that's this is how he's record. He's recording this when he does it. What the? Oh hell no! <laughs> that's. That sounded like it hurt in real life, dude. <laughs> that was the, some pain, bro, bro. What do you mean it sounded like it hurt in real life? Look where this fool jumped to. Bro, what? <laughs> this man's an animal, dude. Bro, hold on. Let me pull this up because I have more clips because I, I did a video on it. But I just want to, to <laughs> show you more of this. Full send, bro. <laughs> when he landed, <laughs> this the, dude. It was the <laughs> sounds, right? <laughs> It's yeah. the sounds he made. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So here he comes, Jake Paul. By the way, his brother is laid out cold, apparently, at this moment. And he's walking to the ring. I, get on your horse, buddy. Run down there. Wearing the hell out of that shirt, though, I got to admit. All right. So he comes down. And, and this was my, uh, and I know we're, we're veering off topic, but we'll get back to it in a second. This was my um, ultimate. This is my ultimate proof. When someone comes to me about a Jake Paul fight being uh, staged, I have the ultimate proof to now say you're all liars, and here's why. And I'm gonna pull the clip to show you. Good Gort, WWE, come on, bro. If okay, acknowledge me, acknowledge me, yada yada, acknowledge me, acknowledge me, announce, cool. Oh. This is the other angle, by the way. Let's watch this of Logan landing this. Bruh. Oh! <laughs> Bro. Through the table, dude. 
Like this man is all in, dude. I'm telling you, not he's some just like regular all ro- like, in, brother. That's all in. That's like what you do, like when you're trying to become big. Yeah, I mean, listen. Without that injury, like look at this. Oh, look at the splits, brother. In the air, he's basically Sean Kemping, and then hitting a frog <laughs> splash. Dude, that is an old school reference that not many people are gonna get, but. This is my this okay. This is the clip. Now I have to show it in Twitter form, but this is the clip. Okay, whenever anyone comes up to me and or is in my freaking comment section or is on Twitter saying, "Oh, Jake fakes his fights, fake knockout," I will show them this clip. Watch this immaculate punch from from Jake here. That's the one. That's the right hand. This That's man, the big right hand. Man, this and look at my man Uso me. just sell. Uh, what the heck was that? <laughs> Jake's real punches. Solid. His, his worked ones, not so much. And this is why I said to you, by the way, the other day, this is why I said uh, that that YouTubers would be great WWE wrestlers. Yes. All right, so let's look at one more thing before we get to the injury. So this uh, is, again, just a side quest of, of Logan. George Janko and uh, Geriatric Mike, as I call him, a.k.a. Mike Malak, uh, were in the crowd for for this. Oh, I think I saw this clip. Yes, so this is uh this is what happened. So we have George here, Mike. I don't think Mike's holding the camera. I think the guy behind him is. But the Usos, these are Roman's cousins. They're the ones that they're his lackeys. You know, they they come in and clean up when Roman's. He's the bad guy, so he's the heel. So here they come after Mike. There goes the prime. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I oh, want George is to... in there too. I didn't know that. So yeah, so they throw him <laughs> over the barricade. I want you to watch oh, the no. selling here because there's it's actually pretty decent from George. Mike looks like a bag full of mashed potatoes when he falls, but George actually sells pretty well. Watch this this uh <laughs> watch this part. So George gets tossed here. Sells it like he died, right? Fantastic. Literally. Mike, not so much. Oh <laughs> but watch George, watch George. <laughs> Ooh. I never I didn't see this part at all. I only saw the first part where they, they tackled Mike. Yeah, yeah. So Mike Mike takes the super kick not so well. Mike Mike's he's still working on his I see that. I need to see a replay on that one. Yeah, so here's Mike's uh super kick cell. <laughs> that <laughs> But George is not bad. <laughs> Dude, he gets air time. George, man. He, Mike's, George Mike's was like Mike's was like when we were kids and we were pretending to yeah. be WWE yeah. stars. That's yeah, exactly. what that was. You got to you got to give a little. You got to give yeah. and then and receive and then go down. You can't just and then crumple over. You know, you can't just you can't just trust fall. But yeah, so that that happened. Uh it was hilarious. But listen, they they did a good job with it. Now, here's amazing the amazing job. Oh no. That like Logan is a flat out I'll never question the guy's athletic ability ever again. He is Someone said he was the most unathletic athletic person. I that dude's just a freak. He is a freak. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Cuz I was like if someone's going to go to the NFL it's Logan. 100%. If we're talking like NFL talent, Jake needs to to sit down because Big Brother does it. Now, this is where we think it happened, okay? This is called a buckshot lariat. It's done by someone in a different wrestling company, but Logan does a pretty damn good one here. We saw it a second ago in gift form, but basically he flips over the top rope, right? Then he lands. When he lands, it looks like that right knee pops up immediately, right? There. And I think maybe with just that impact mm. that it probably did it there because there's not I, I've looked, there's not a ton of other high impact where he lands Dude, the other on one, his feet. The other, yeah, but the other one looked weird to me. Which one? The one where he did the, the table spot? Where he jumped on no, him on the table? No, 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 no. It was they were in the ring. Oh, the first one, the punch. He when thought the, he the, super, the Superman punch, the way he landed. The reason I say here is because he tries to spring off it again. Okay, so he tries to spring off. I was going to say, yeah, what here, we'll go right back. After. So he tries to spring off it, right? And he gets it back down on the ground, but it doesn't look like he launches. He uses that left foot to launch. Now, I'm not doing all this reverse stuff. That's them doing it. But you can see he kind of immediately pulls up with that one. This is just a guess, by the way. I don't know that this is where he did it. But he tries to launch, and it doesn't quite go off the leg. You know, he, he still gets pretty good launch. But we yeah, don't know go, exactly. Can you he find said, that punch real quick? Because yeah, yeah. What, what did he say? 
He said he did it in the middle of the match before the table spot, before the 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 deal that we said. The um, because if you watch the punch, he lands feet. First okay, I got you. The, looks when like he does the Superman jams. punch. Okay, when he lands, it looks yeah, like his yeah, feet yeah. fly forward, and it looked like a jam. Let's take a look. Because like the reason I say the front flip, because it would be kind of weird because the way that you're rotating, there's not a lot of deceleration because you're landing as your your upper body's going forward. Mm-hmm. Look at that. It's not opposing. I thought I was saying that picture is crazy. crazy. That doesn't look real. That looks like Photoshop. That's real. That's real. It's him off the top rope again. That is incredible. Insane stuff, man. Wait, what was this? Because knee injuries are typically on hard deceleration. Yeah, exactly. And then reacceleration. So, but that's the thing. Deceleration. The the way he did it, he landed and then immediately tried to go again. Boom, boom. But 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 it's it's this. It's not. it wasn't really change of direction. It was still in the sort of the. It could obviously landing that way, but it wasn't in the same right direction. Right here, this is what you were talking about. Go go back. His left. It was his left knee or right knee. His right knee. Yeah, I mean it does kind of land. So if you go back. Oh wait 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 wait. Go right there. So, kind of maybe. See the way. Only because I saw quick. You see the way his if his toe because that canvas is if tight. His, yeah, if his so, toe catches see, right, right there. The, Right there, and his knee jams in. Yeah, maybe. You see how, see how his weight goes backwards? Oh, and then his yeah. Watch his leg a little bit, kind of flip here at yeah. the top. You know. See, that's what I'm saying. Is decent. It's opposite. So it could be, watch, man. Go, yeah. If you if you if they look at where he's landing. So if he if look at he's jumping into it. Yeah. And this is all weight right there. Boom on, on that right knee. And his, if Boom. that foot if that foot is caught. Jolt, that's what I'm saying. His, his foot's in the ground right now. Because watch his head. It has to be. Because if you look at his head. Yeah. See how he gets pushed back. He flies back. Yep. And that and leg that goes right knee is kind of like a like a slingshot almost, where it flips up like that. Boom. Could yeah, be, it's, man. It's, honestly, because the canvas is tight, that means there's not going to be a lot of give. Like when his right, if his right toe is in the ground, yep. on landing, that's all that weight. And if his left foot, his doesn't look like his left foot. His left foot kind of skids. Um, it's like it. Yeah, it's kinda, not. Look at it, it's like underneath him. Is see yeah. that right knee right there? Yeah. Boom. That might and be he was it. Falling man. into it. Damn. So that might be it. Yeah. And and he he finished that match, and he's laying down here, trying to see if we can see anything out of it. No, listen, actually, there's yeah. a little bit more I here. See if he... But that may be. Oh, um, he's maybe right there. Oh, <laughs> he's feeling it. <laughs> 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 now listen, fair play to Logan. But so so we have to talk about this, man. We we have to talk about what this means for his future, right? Spent way too much time looking at the replays, but actually, it was dope. What does this mean, though, for Logan? So, he's clearly out. He said on his Twitter that uh, he... Now, it was kind of contradictory. His first message said he tore his MCL and his meniscus and then partially tore, pop or possibly tore his ACL. Then he said, I think verbally, that he tore his ACL and his MCL and possibly his meniscus. But either way... Two out of yeah. three of those, it's not good, right? So no. we're looking at, I would say, just you know, being around guys. I've never torn uh, any of those you know, ligaments or muscles there. I've had way too many surgeries, but not there. I would say we're looking at at least nine months to get back if, if that was something he was like aggressively rehabbing, like Cam Akers from the Los Angeles Rams. Guy yep. tore his ACL, he was back in five months, but he was only doing that. Now, Logan's got a ton of money. He's got ridiculous FU money. So if he wants to go and get the surgery and then the stem cells and he dedicates six months to coming back, sure, we could see him. But do we ever see him again in YouTube boxing? I think so because he's done it before. And also the timing. This this He seems super hungry to do a lot. Yeah. Um, and he seemed, his spirit seems super high after. Yeah, yeah. Like whatever. And I think he's he's gone through it before, so that does give you a lot of confidence to be like, okay, I've gone through my knee exploding. I can I've recovered. Like he didn't get his splits, um, at least what I've heard, until after his knee injury. Really? Yeah. So he got the knee injury, and he like he got flexible um, in rehab, and he was so focused to rehab and to improve his knee That's health. Interesting. So I didn't know that his athletic ability. Um, improved a lot i guess after the knee injury because he wanted to recover focus on recover and that the because he, he wanted to just get ahead of the knee injury really yeah no i i've been so so 
I've been trying to, to me learn. when I hear that. Yeah, no, if, if you hear that, he could be. But that, my, I guess my question is not that he can't do it because, I, of course, yeah, this guy's got, like I said, the money is there. He could go and get stem cell treatment. He could have all the finest surgeons. And like you said, if, and Logan said this too, he, he seems like a guy that's like super linear focused. If something is on his mind, that's like what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's definitely going to help him. But my, I guess my question is, will, like, does, does you think he just wants that badly to box? Again, do you think that is the main focus for him? I don't, think, it, I don't even think it's about boxing because this his WWE is going to be affected. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's the thing. He can do WWE on a part-time schedule anyway, right? That he can still yeah. like anybody else. He can still come do that. Is boxing? I just think. I just think that his. He, cause I, feel, I still think he wants to do MMA at some point. I think he wants to do a big one-off fight. I could still yeah. see him doing that. I can see that. I. I just see him. Like with his personality, mm-hmm. doing it just because it's an injury and he wants to come back for it and destroy everyone and he can't come back and he's going to come back even more awesome and he looks forward to telling that story. Yeah. Like I just feel like he looks forward to telling that story, whether it means boxing or not. I feel like I see a documentary. I feel like right now he's thinking, dude, I'm going to come back for a minute. We're going to do Content, this. Content, this sick. is the thing. Yeah. Just wait. You know, yeah. so I feel like his personality, I think that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's the thing too. He can make. He's already like you said. He made light of it. Like he's got all the necessary funds and or ability to make this into its own story, right? To like you said, make a documentary yeah. type thing off of it or show Another chapter yeah. in the story of Logan Paul. You know what I mean? So I, I for me, it's this. It, it's like, do you need to? And, and I'm again looking at the YouTube boxing side because he was supposed to be in the co-main event uh, in January. True, I, yeah. I had heard names that they were talking about and talking to, uh, which I will not divulge here because I, I'm a, I'm a good uh, company man. No, they, they hadn't decided on any names yet because it's tough to find a fight for Logan. You know, it's tough. Oh yeah. I got you. You know, I got you. but it, it's tough. You know, it, it, they really didn't have anybody that was willing to either come up or that the, they were going to be able to negotiate and, and do things with correctly. Or just uh, the fact that Logan's such a freak who wants to fight him. So it was a lot. It was it was tough, but yeah. If he does come back, it has to be again the situation they were already in times two now because it, it to me it feels like more risk. Like you're coming back after this horrific injury, and you've got a bag over there waiting for you with the WWE already. Honestly, Logan boxing he was not going to make bukus of money. That was a passion thing for him, in my opinion. I, it didn't seem like it was going to yeah. be. Oh, this is I'm going to make crazy you know, money like I would make in the WWE doing this. But if he is a, a signed under contract WWE guy, they're not going to like him coming back in boxing. I don't know what the contract is over there, but he got hurt doing WWE. They're going to be like, nah, you need to come and fulfill the rest of whatever you got going on over here first, you know? Yeah. So I, I think that it'll be a while. I, I don't think that we will see him in 2022 obviously i don't think that we'll see him in the early to summer part of 2023 if logan boxes again if it'll be late fall 2023 maybe even a full year from now i was gonna say yeah i was gonna say if earliest it'll be a year yeah because that um, nine months is gonna be hell on his on, like just just getting back to like doing athletic things then you got to get into camp then you got to get sparring in there then you got to come back like it's it's gonna be yeah, rough. I'm not saying he can't. Multiple tears, multiple tears. That's gonna be yeah. Brutal. The two out of three there, and could be three out of three. Those are for for if we were 20 years ago. Thank God for modern medicine. 20 years ago, that's done. You are done for, buddy. That's why I think it's got to be that clip because it has to be high impact, like lots yeah. of weight. But there were so many leg. moves like that. If we if we went back and watched yeah, the full true. match, we could probably pinpoint <laughs> He's it. Flying around the whole thing. Yeah, we could we could probably pinpoint it there, but. I'll say this. Whatever Logan decides to do, I don't doubt his ability to get back and do it. I just don't know if after an injury like this, he's going to look at boxing the same way because it felt like he is really falling for this WWE stuff, and I think he wants to go back to that. Yeah. Now, he's going to have to adjust the way I he wrestles, but I think that's what <laughs> it is. But you guys, let us know down below. Is Logan Paul done in the YouTube boxing scene? And if so... What does he do next? Is it WWE? Is it reviving Vine for Twitter? Which I heard, I don't know, given that that was troll, but I heard he might have a hand in. I don't know. Sensei doesn't know, but well wishes to Logan. He had a great match, and I guess we'll see. You guys let us know. Hey.